Hello and welcome back to Technology for Blind YouTube channel. I am back with another video guys. This is all about Zoom, the video conferencing platform. And if you are new here to the channel, welcome and uh, please be sure to subscribe and enable the bell notification so you will be notified about future videos, right? So with that being said, let's get started. This is a really quick video which I'm going to show how to use the Zoom communication platform as a screen reader user okay now fortunately this uh, software is completely accessible uh, out of the box so we don't have to install any scripts or any add-ons but there are some uh, scripts for specifically jaws which you can get uh, there is a free version and also a paid version on that uh, which i don't use because jaws is not my primary screen reader and the script does is like uh, it enhances the functionalities but uh, it also can be used like the, the JAWS also can be used with Zoom without the scripts installed okay so uh, talking about the Zoom Zoom can be used in mobile web in Windows uh, application as a Windows application mobile application and also a web application right in, in the Zoom uh, website okay so uh, there are two kind of things like two objectives in my opinion now the first one is say you have got an invitation from the like your friend or your uh, teacher or your colleague or something and instead of like you can uh, connect to the meeting to, you can join to the meeting without having an, a real account um, which is great right uh, but if you want to host a meeting, uh, you can you have to create an uh, an account, Zoom account, and it's completely free. So let me uh, walk you through how the uh, planning planning works. Okay. Now, uh, if you are going to host a meeting between two people, okay, say you and your friend, the Zoom is completely free, unlimited time. Okay, but if you are going to host a meeting more than three oh sorry more than two people which means which means three people um, starting from th three people to hundred people uh, the time limitation will be capped to 40 minutes okay but the thing is totally free but you will have to uh, recreate the complete meeting from the ground up and uh, rejoin the people after the time limit of 40 minutes okay that's the only limitation and up to uh, more than 100, 100 you have to pay the license to get the uh, thing right so comparing to uh, let me say microsoft teams um, yeah we can't compare the microsoft teams because microsoft team is a completely different scope but uh, if you are planning to meet up with two three people then uh, this zoom will be the best choice okay now uh, and also if you don't have a corporate account uh, a work email you zoom is the best okay so now i am in the zoom website skip collapsed link host a meeting visited link sign in okay main landmark slide is together keep heading level two keeping you securely so you have to get to this uh, website zoom.us and let me sign into my account and let's start how it goes now you ha if you don't have an account you have to sign up okay close account it banner landmark meetings navigation landmark sign up it's free button sign up it's free you can uh, log in or sign up as a usual thing okay so let me sign in and i'll come back so let me open the zoom start window search window dot zoom text 29 finder start zoom app press start zoom New meeting option okay. drop down button. Right now, this is the uh, interface. Okay, very straightforward. Join button. Schedule button. Join button. Now you can use the join button. Zoom window. Please enter your meeting ID or personal link name. If you have received a link or a meeting ID, okay, which is which is great. Okay. Zoom window. Please enter your name. Edit Mohan Rashid. Do not connect to audio checkbox. Not checked. There are settings. Turn off my video checkbox. Not checked. Cancel button. Join meeting. Okay, this is inspectory. Let's go to the next thing. Uh, escape to co close this thing. Join button. Schedule button. Schedule. Okay. Uh, now let's see. schedule meeting window. Topic: Mohan Rashid Zoom meeting. Edit Mohan Rashid Zoom meeting. Now you can give it title. Start day Wednesday, June twenty fourth, twenty twenty, two p.m. Drop down button. This is a drop down. Okay. 
which means list Thursday, June, Friday, June, Thursday, Wednesday, June, list Wednesday, July 1st, Wednesday, July 8th, Wednesday, Thursday, June, Friday, June, Thursday, Wednesday, July 2020, select the month button. After you press the space bar on the drop down, you can uh, select the date, time, um, all the things. Space escape. Start day Wednesday, July, day one spin button. Okay. Year 2020, start time 2 p.m. drop down, hour 0, 2 spin button, minute 0, 0 spin button, p.m. spin button, duration, hour, 0 hour combo box. Okay, this is inflectionary guys. Duration, minutes, 30 minutes combo box, recurring meeting checkbox not checked. Mm, I'm not sure what this means. I think uh, starting again or something, right? Time zone, GMT plus 530, meeting ID, personal meeting ID 645, edit 0 SH, learn more but video host, off radio button checked. Okay. Video participants, off radio, calendar outlook, radio button checked, advanced meeting options, collapse button, enable waiting room, checkbox checked. The waiting room means like, uh, say you are the host, okay, and you didn't come uh, at that time, like say your meeting will be starting on 5.30 p.m. and your uh, mates or the people who are going to join as guests have come before 5.30 or 5.29 or 5.30 and you didn't come. They can wait in a lobby kind of thing and after you have uh, joined to the meeting you can admit them, okay? That's how this thing works. Really great. I have used a Zoom lot in, with, with my friend and it works fine, okay? The connection is also fantastic. I will show how the meeting thing works, okay? Don't worry. Enable join before host checkbox checked. Okay. Mute participants upon entry checkbox not checked. Uh, yeah, this is also also self-explanatory, guys. Automatically record meeting on the local computer checkbox checked. Okay. Zoom also gives us the ability to record and uh, edit or something, right? Schedule button. Cancel button. Okay. So this is how the scheduling thing works. Zoom Let's window. Cancel. Schedule button. Share screen button. Share screen. Share option drop down button. Wednesday, June 24th, 2021.03 p.m. Change background image. Select a different back. No upcoming meetings today. Right. Tab control. Home tab selected. This chat. is the home tab. Okay, now let's go to the next tab. Chat tab selected. Chat. Chat. You can chat with people. Search also. edit. Zoom. Mohammed Rashid. Jump to contact. Group chatter channel. Shortcut CTRL plus T. Editing box. Edit. List. Category. Start level one. One of three category. Ex level two. Start messages. Now these are very self-explanatory. This depends on what you need. Okay. Contact requests. Level two. All files. Level. Mohammed Rashid. Available on desktop. Level two. Category. Category. Recent chats option. Okay. Add, add an tab control. Chat tab meetings tab selected check. Meetings. This is the scheduling thing, I think. Search edit. Zoom. Mohammed Rashid. Refresh button. Tab control. Upcoming meetings tab selected checked. Recorded meetings tab selected checked. Upcoming me schedule meeting button. Meeting list list. My personal meeting ID. PMI meeting list list. My personal meeting okay. ID. PMI. This was my meeting. Personal meeting ID 600. Start meeting button. Copy meeting and edit meeting button. Show meeting invitation button. Tab control. Meetings tab. So contacts tab selected checked. Home contact tab selected. Tags. Again, home tab. Okay. Now, let's look at the settings before creating a meeting. Search edit. Zoom. Mo setting button. Setting. Settings window. List. General selected. No, there are general. Video selected. Video. Audio selected. Audio. Share screen selected. Chat selected. Virtual background selected. Recording selected. Profile selected. Statistics selected. Keyboard shortcuts selected. Accessibility selected. There are settings for accessibility as well. Start zoom when I start windows checkbox not checked. When closed, minimize window to the notification area instead of the taskbar checkbox checked. Use dual monitors checkbox not checked. Enter full screen automatically when starting or joining a meeting checkbox not checked. Checked. Check. Automatically copy invite link once the meeting starts checkbox checked. Ask me to confirm when I leave a meeting checkbox checked. Show my connected time checkbox checked. Remind me 5 minutes before my upcoming meetings checkbox checked. 5 combo box. 5 stop my video and audio when my display is off or screensaver begins checkbox not checked. Reaction skin tone medium radio button checked. View more settings open in your default browser link. Now, if like the thing works is if you are going to go into in deep like settings, uh, for instance, account settings, all those things, then you will be redirected to the portal, Zoom portal in the website and you can change settings from there. Okay, that's how this thing works. List, general selected, uh, accessibility uh, keyboard shortcut. This is how the settings work. You can change approach uh, the settings according to your needs. I'm not going to go in deep. ZP tool power okay, parent. So let's, let's start a meeting, a new meeting. Okay, okay. Uh, if you turn on the high contrast mode, uh, you can turn the thing. All right. Now this is in the high contrast mode. Now 
what I did was to turn on high contrast is I pressed uh, I'm using my laptop I pressed the alt key the shift key shift zoom um, and the laptop key and the print screen key that's all okay now if you are in a desktop you can uh, leave the laptop key because you don't have the one you can press the alt shift and print screen at the same time then it will turn on the high contrast okay starting a new so, meeting with video on button uh, if you want to start the meeting instantly uh, which I'm gonna do now uh, you can do this from this link okay video on let's do it and yeah my camera is also on zoom let me turn off my camera. Mute meeting and for you are using turn on original sap select them show my exit mute Alt stop my mute you are using the video stop my video Alt. Stop you are in video. the meeting posted by Mohan Rashid all right now uh, since we have started the meeting we can share the invite link with uh, others video now using, stop alert. oh sorry uh, using uh, email or whatever and uh, you, you your friends can join live okay which is great video settings okay Men now there are tons of settings uh, controls you can get uh, while in the meeting this is the meeting security menu button okay closed open participants it's very accessible i'm really pleased with the software open chat panel alt plus h button share screen alt plus s button share option menu button okay, you can share the screen share options you can share only the audio desktop audio all those things but unfortunately the audio is not kind of great uh, in my case i'm not pleased with the audio but uh, it's it, it's great for voice communication okay record on this computer alt plus r button you can record the uh, meeting support button reactions button and alt plus q button you can end the meeting alt q Me you are using meeting information button you are using enhanced encryption button turn okay. on original sound button select the microphone to always use original sound drop down button show mic original show sound uh, original show sorry show mic and select ah, original sound mean uh, it, it will uh, eliminate all of the processing things like noise reduction all those things and it will allow you to use the uh, same as your microphone okay that's a pow powerful thing okay so guys uh, i really hope this has helped you out this is not a walkthrough on how to use zoom i i was doing like a whether you zoom is accessible okay if you want to learn more zoom about zoom you, you can find a lot of tutorials and uh, uh, articles and also you can check it out on your own self right uh, like uh, by participating like um, by getting help from other he friends you can try it out okay so i really hope this has helped you out guys uh, thank you very much for watching and if you have got any questions comments ideas please let me know in the comment section i'll do my best to answer all of the uh, questions comments uh, all those things right and yeah i'll see you in the next video signing out mohammad ashad